Welcome to my tutorial. I will be trying to explain to you how I played Yui again. I have a video on YouTube that gained 10,000 views uh, that I posted four years ago and there were a lot of people who requested me doing a tutorial. So I hope that you kind of understand what I'm doing and uh, what can I say? Have fun. So let's get started. Part 1. You have to hold with your left hand a D minor, except that you have to lift your index finger, so you will have to search for these three notes. And you have to pay a little bit of attention because uh, the first note, the E, this one, is accentuated, as you can hear. Okay, it's like you have to feel the rhythm of it. It's like hitting this. Sorry. So you have something like this. So this is your intro basically, but before jumping on the first chord, which is E minor, um, I always like adding at the end of the intro the fourth note, so it will sound something like this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I hope... version in which I don't add the fourth note. It sounds a little bit empty, but if you add that fourth note over there, it's, it's <laughs> it sounds a little bit more special. So, uh, the intro, your intro, will look like this. Oh, sorry. So, this is your intro. Let's practice. And let's practice the one in which you start with the first chord. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Once again. As you can see, even I had to pay I had to pay attention to it. Once again. So this is your intro. Okay, so the second part of the intro will be <laughs> so when I strum down. I will say one. When I strum up, I'll say two so that it would be much easier because down is a longer word than two in English, at least. So, um, <clears throat> you will have uh, something like this. You have the chords in the description. I suggest you uh, copying the text and printing it and putting it in front of yourself. It will be much easier. Um, so yeah, let's see, we will have a D minor, a D major, a C major, and a B, B major. So, let's start, shall we? we you, you, you will have this.
I will try <laughs> the one two method. So one one two two one two 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 one two one one two. As you can see, when I'm strumming with my right hand, I don't always hold a chord with my left hand. But that's no problem. It's uh, very natural to strum, to have a strumming pattern, and you don't always hold a chord while you're strumming. So pay attention to that. So, one, one, two, two, one, two. Try it again, shall we? So one, one, two, two, one, two, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, 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 one, two, 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 one, two, 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 one, two, two, one, two, 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 numbers that sound utterly silly. So strumming up I only use my thumb to do that and I'm just doing motions like this it's like I don't know I don't know I don't even know how to call this but I'm doing it and when I'm strumming down I'm like kind of strumming with all my four fingers like this
as you can see when I'm strumming up I do I'm not really strumming all of the chords just maybe the first three but I don't really quite pay attention to it it's uh, something I do out of intuition so Until now, we learn.